This is an abandoned Soviet military base in Western Hungary. 2,000 members of the Red Army were stationed here during the Cold War. It was a thriving town. Now, it's all in ruins. Marika was 15 years old when she got a job at the community center. It was in 1955. A year later came the Hungarian Revolution. This is where I worked. Sadly, a lot of Russian troops died during the 1956 revolution. Their bodies lay in state here, in the cinema hall. Then the bodies were transported home. During the revolution, stocks at the Russian shop were depleted. Those poor devils with families, they couldn't buy anything in the stores. The shop windows were empty, there was no bread, there was no milk. My employer, the mother of the child I looked after, asked me to bring some bread and milk from the village so she could feed the child. In her home village, Marika got into trouble for taking food to the Russians. A man threatened to subject her to revolutionary justice. My heart aches when I come here. I can see rubbish everywhere. It's a mess. People in the village call it a ghost town. This was the child's room. From here, you could go through to the parents' room. We spent a lot of time here with the little boy. We would also go out to the balcony to have a look around and sit there when the weather was good. It makes me feel awful seeing how this place deteriorated from what it was when I worked here.